Hey guys, this is Scope, and we're back with more Let's Play Pokemon Soul Silver. Um, in the last episode, we started traveling towards Mahogany Town. Um, the item I got right here was a Hyper Potion, by the way. Okay, now something I want to let you guys know, just, um... From the video when I fought Chuck, I said he was using Dynamic Punch the whole time, and yeah, okay, I, I messed up, it was early in the morning. It was actually Focus Punch, which... I already put it in a comment, but what that move does is it charges up at the beginning of the turn, and then if you use an attack on them, then it'll miss, which is why it wasn't hitting Saizo, and if you don't, then it'll hit you, and it's really powerful, so, yeah, just to get that out of the way, my bad. So anyway, there's the third entrance to Mount Mortar. Try to sneak past this guy if we can, because Mahogany Town is right on the other side of these guys. Oh look, we've got a little mini chicken. How cute. But our chicken's better. So we don't need you. We don't need you. Bye bye. Alright, and here we are in the beautiful town of Mahogany. So, let's walk around real quick. Show you what's going on. Um, we got a Pokemon Center right here. We got the gym, which we can't get into because Fat Guy's blocking it. Got to give him a Twinkie or something. All right, and then there's no Mart. All right, and if you try to leave the town this way, this guy will block you. And he'll try to sell you a Rage Candy Bar, which is, you know, some stupid item for 300 Poke Dollars, which I don't even know what it does, so whatever. It's worthless, that's all I know. Okay, and then there's no Mart, but there is this place that has the antennas coming out of the tree next to it. Um, where this guy sells some stuff at pretty overpriced, you know, uh, pretty overpriced prices. So, you can buy shit from there if you want, but it'll probably be better to wait. So your only option is to go north. <coughs> okay. On a second. Alright. So, you go through here. Alright, we got a trainer right there, just boop. Alright, and then you can, to progress, you can go through this um, pathway too, but then there's Team Rocket members in there who charge you like a thousand bucks or something to pass through. So we can go through this grass right here and get there faster. Uh, we're going to put chicken in the front. Yes. We're going to need to do some leveling up because we're severely under leveled. Hell, Jasmine's Pokemon were ten, level, ten levels above us, what the fuck? Yeah, we got serious catching up to do. Oh, of course I put out chicken first. Idiots. Yeah, well, shit. Better switch. Go, Sazo. Oh. Three minutes and we got nothing done. Alright, yeah, that's that's nice. Sand true, you little fag. Ugh. Metal Claw, I guess. Hell, I don't know what to do. I mean, we're above the trainer's levels, which is a good sign, but... I don't know if we'll be any match for the gym leaders. Alright, size of grew 26. Good shit, good shit. No. Alright, so Chicken's the only one not at 26 here. Should've switched. What was I thinking? Just wanna kill this guy. Die, zoo bitch. Alright, very nice. Very nice. 231, cool. Uh, yeah, we're gonna switch this time. Back to chicken. Oh, chicken, chicken, chicken. Chicken and Gator are the only one who have uh, evolutions to go through still. <coughs> oh my god, I have the worst luck with this thing. Urgh. Maybe I can tackle and kill him. Take forever, but shit, chicken needs the experience, dude, I'm telling you. Oh god, no, that'll take too long. Maybe if I was just playing on my own, you know, I'd sit here and do that, but... Shit. This is a let's play, guys. I can't just have you watch me tackle a sand slash for six minutes. Oh god. But anyway, like I was saying, Chicken's closer to his uh, evolution than Gator is. Gator's still got a good 10 levels. Chicken's got about 5. That'll be epic. Gator evolves. Chicken too. Because Chicken becomes like 10 times more useful when he evolves. 
Alright. Yes, shut up, you little weirdo. Get away from me. Alright, let's see if we got a repel. Nobody good in this grass over here. Oh, man. Oh, wait, we do. I think it's just a regular repel, but that'll work. Need to go stock up on those. I think I have some money, maybe. Oh, damn it. I didn't mean to run into you, but well, like I said, I need experience. So anyway, going on this path over here, you can find a few more trainers, some items, and get around that uh, door, which you have to pay to go through, mainly. <coughs> okay, we got a Clefairy here. We are going to use Thunder Shock. Chicken, you need to learn a new move, dude. You haven't learned a new move in ages. Well, besides Charge, but that doesn't count, because that move sucks. Are you kidding? Come on, man. Just wasting my time. Oh, these trainers are so tedious. This is why I hate fighting random trainers. Does that wake me up, that berry? No. How about this? No. Damn it. Well, I guess I'll just have to fight through it. Minimize. <coughs> You're not even attacking me. You're just delaying me killing you. If that. Yes. I hate Clefairies. I hate normal type Pokemon in general. Well, besides like Eevee and stuff, but you know. I mean, they're not super effective against anything. I mean, I guess some of them are cool, but it's not like I'd ever put them on my team. I mean, some can have some pretty good moves, especially competitively like Smurgle with his, you know, bait and pass and belly drum combo and all that, but... Oh, that is a story for another time. No, we don't want your phone number with your annoying-ass Clefairy. We don't want to hear how you almost won a battle. You notice that when they call you, they always talk about how they almost won a battle, but they never win. Alright, actually, I don't want to fight you. Let's just go over here. Alright, we got this item by the passage, which is... I don't know, but we can sure as hell check. It is a Max Ether, Turbo Ether, whatever you want to call it. Something in the Ether category. Oops, sorry, didn't notice I was off the camera there. Okay, so we go this way. Got some trainers here, but we can fight them next time. Because this time we want to see what's going on at the Lake of Rage here. So this is the end of the north path up here. We got the Lake of Rage where it is raining furiously. And if you talk to people around here, you'll notice that they'll say, um, that, you know, something weird's been going on in the lake, that the Magikarp have been forced to evolve into Gyaradoses and stuff. So, let's check it out. When we come over here, we see a shiny red Gyarados, oddly enough. So, actually, we're gonna save, because, you know, you never know. Saving is always nice. But, oh shit, I don't know if I have any balls. Well, I mean, of course, I've got two balls, but we can't really use those against Pokemon. So, let me see if I have any Pokeballs. Ugh, bag. God, I haven't used Pokeballs in ages. Ah, uh, I got some. We'll try it. Talk to me, buddy. Alright. Alright, and this is Red Gyarados. Alright, and he's shiny, obviously. That's what that sparkle means. It's a red gear with those. No. Alright, so... Yes, yes, gear dose. Shut your mouth. Alright, Thunder Shock, which is quadruple effective against this guy. So let's hope it doesn't kill him. Alright, that's Dragon Rage. It does a fixed 40 damage. So it will kill us next turn if he uses it. Uh, Chicken, just don't kill him for me. Alright, can you do that? Alright, good. Alright, it's raining, so whatever. Let's... Ah, he goes first, damn it. I want. I should have paralyzed him. What was I thinking? Bite? Don't kill me. I hate you, Gyarados. I really hate you. Oh, God. I want to catch you in this video. That would be ideal. That would be truly ideal. Go, Gator. Go, Gator, go, Gator, go, Gator, go. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go right now. Let's try a little bit of Surf, because it's raining, so that'll power that up. Right, and he's using Twister, which is a shitty, shitty move. Alright, and I guess my Surf missed. I don't know how the hell that happened. 
And now he's using bite. Okay. Now we're not going to put Gyarados on our team. We've already got Gator covered on the water type, and we've got a flying type, so... I mean, I wouldn't see the need for it. It would be cool, yeah. But... Not necessary. Alright, one more surf should do it. We're getting up to the time limit. Alright, I'm just going to try one ball. And then if that doesn't work, then we'll try catching him next time. Alright, hurry, hurry, go, 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 go. Great ball, great ball. I've only got six great balls. That's what we're going to have to catch him with. Go. Go, great ball. One. Two. Three. Alright, we caught Gyarados, but we're out of time, so I'll see you guys next time on Let's Play Pokemon Soul Silver. We caught Gyarados with one great ball. Yeah!